Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn how to use a BMP280 barometric altitude sensor with ESP32 using MicroPython. What I have here is a barometric altitude sensor module included in Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. It contains the BMP280 chip which can measure surrounding temperature, barometric pressure, and altitude. It has four pins, namely GND for the ground pin, VCC for the supply voltage, SDA for the I2C serial data pin, and SCL for the I2C serial clock pin. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board. An ESP32 shield from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit to extend ESP32 pins to pin headers for EC circuit connection. A 4 pin female to female DuPont jumper wires. And of course, the barometric altitude sensor module itself. I already attached the DuPont wires to the barometric altitude sensor by following the color coding, which is black for the ground red for the VCC, yellow for the SDA, and white for the SCL pin. While the other end of the DuPont jumper wires is attached to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, which is black to black, red to red, yellow, and the following colors to yellow pin headers. For this experiment, I choose GPIO21 for the SDA pin and GPIO22 for the SCL pin. Now for the software part, I prepared here to example source code for this demonstration. To help us easily use the barometric altitude sensor or the BMP280 module, we need an external driver library. Thankfully, Xiao Zhang provided us on his GitHub. What you will do is copy this bmp280.py to Tony IDE, which I already did here. And save it to MicroPython root directory by clicking the file menu, select save as, select MicroPython device, and save it as bmp280.py. Because I already have it, so I will just click cancel. Now for example number one, Let's explore how we can use the BMP280 for measuring temperature, pressure, and altitude. It works by importing the pin class from the machine module to access ESP32 pins and the I2C class from the machine module to create an I2C bus communication in port 0 with SDA pin set to GPIO21 and SCL pins set to GPIO22. And lastly, create a BMP280 object named BMP by using the I2C bus we created. Let me click the run button to execute example number one. And let us use the REPL for the demonstration. Now using the REPL, we can get the current temperature in degrees Celsius by calling that getTemp method. Let me copy this one and paste it in the REPL and hit enter. And as you can see, it returns 32.01 degrees Celsius or get the pressure in hectopascal by calling the getPress method. Let me paste it in the REPL and hit enter, which returns 101,142 hectopascal. I'm not sure if this is correct, but I cannot test it because I don't have a reference instrument for comparison. Anyways, we can also get the absolute altitude in meters by calling get alti. Let me paste it in the REPL and hit enter, which returns 
15.16 meters. I cannot think a good and simple application for demonstrating the BMP 280. So with example number two, let's just display the current values to this OLED display. We will use a custom font so we can display it with larger font style. For more details on how to use the custom font, be sure to watch video number 010 and video number 011. On that videos, you can find the needed driver libraries to follow this example. Let me attach this 0.96 OLED display. Okay, now let me select example number 2. And let me click the run button to execute it. Okay, first let me click the stop button to terminate example number 1. And let me click the run button to execute example number 2. And as you can see in the OLED display, it displays 32.21 degrees Celsius for the temperature and for the pressure, it measures 101,000 and something hectopascal and an altitude of 15.08 meters. This works by reading the current data from the BMP280 which provides temperature, pressure, and altitude. Then the current data is formatted and displayed to the OLED display. And a copy of data is also sent to the REPL, as you can see here. This all happens every 1000 milliseconds, which is set by SleepMS with 1000 as parameter. So that's pretty much of it. I hope you can learn something from this. As always, the source code that is in here, including other information, can be found in the companion blog post for this video, a tech to tinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe. And turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.